Hey guys, and I've had the MacBook Pro 2011 13 inch model Core i5 processor, 128GB solid state drive, stock 4GB of RAM, <coughs> everything else stock for about uh, um, uh, a week now, and I wanted to start some kind of extended coverage. So the first one I'm going to do is a boot up test between Mac OS X and Windows um, because as you guys know I boot camped this machine so um, we're going to start with a Windows um, boot test and, and see how well it does no actually sorry we're going to start with yeah we're going to start with a Windows boot test and then some general performance comparisons Okay, so we're going to hit the power button. And I will say, while this is booting up, that the SSD drive, it's a stock Apple SSD drive, and it wasn't quite as, as screaming and fast as I would expect from an SSD drive. So we had a hang last time, so we're going to just start Windows normally. And this is the... Um, performance has kind of starting from now. So in spite of the fact that it's got an SSD, it still takes quite a while to boot up and we are now um full fully booted so not not that impressive. Let's let's try a shutdown test. Okay, so I'm just about to hit shut down on this and we'll see how long it takes. Got the bomb there. And I will say sometimes I get hands on shutdown. I didn't this particular time time but sometimes we do um okay th this time we're going to try i know it's 10 boot test uh we're going to have to press alt to get the boot menu to select os 10. so let's start the machine hit the alt key and we get this things we're going to select mac os 10 it's worth noting that I've been using the um, for the MacBook Pro. I've been using Windows as my primary operating system. Again, quite a while to boot, especially for a solid state drive. But now. Um, we fully booted and there's a video there and you can see kind of how um, bright the screen is Let's, and you can see the specs there um, let's do a few kind of uh, general use speed tests um, for, first we're going to open up um, garage band time machine garage band pretty intensive application let's see how long it takes to launch so just in terms of opening up applications you do see the performance of the solid state drive but not not really in boot up time like like I would have expected anyway um okay so let's do a, sh do a shutdown test okay so here's the real shutdown test and you can see it, it, sh it shut it down a lot quicker than windows shut down so um there's some kind of boot up shutdown and kind of general use comparisons really 
I um for my money the SSD drive wasn't worth it and doesn't yield a significant um performance boost over the what the non SSD drive would have done. Um I find that especially as I dual boot between Mac and Windows though, 128 gigabyte the size of the solid state drive just just isn't enough really um for what I need to do. So those are just some performance tests of, of the Cora 5 2011 Sandy Bridge um, MacBook Pros with again a customised Apple stock solid state drive 128 gigabytes. Um, and thank you for watching this video guys. Hope you got something from it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.